Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video in which we're going to take a look at the Activity Feeds functionality which incorporates What's New and Record Wall in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. In understanding what this functionality is, think of it as a Twitter come Facebook feed for your CRM system. It is designed to enhance collaboration between employees and speed up research and fact finding and hopefully reduce email. What's more, it keeps employees informed and therefore engaged with the company as a whole. If you're upgrading to Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011, then you need to download the Activity Feed solution from the marketplace and apply it to your system. New users to CRM 2011, or the online version, will get this functionality as standard, but there is some configuration to do. Go to Settings and System and you'll see two areas, and if you use the Help Files you'll get a good overview of what to do. The Activity Feeds Configuration area is where you can specify which entities are available for updates and also display the record wall. It will also show if any auto rules are applied to this entity. The Activity Feeds Rules area is where you can decide if you want the system to automatically post items to the What's New area based on certain rules. Looking at Opportunity we can see a number of active rules. Simply activate or deactivate by highlighting a rule and clicking the appropriate button in the dynamic ribbon. If we go back to the What's New area, we can consider the different areas of information. First, looking at the posts, we can see all posts, auto posts, which are generated by the rules we have just discussed, or just user posts. Posts include hyperlinks to lots of different records. And you can also tell if something has been posted from a particular record wall, which we'll look at later on. On the right hand side you can see who is following you and the records that you are following. You can also click Edit to change the chick cheesy picture you may have of yourself. Making a post is easy. Just type what you want and use the at sign to do a lookup if you want to include a hyperlink to a specific record. Once you've typed your post, just click the Submit button. You can also comment on any post you require or delete them from your view. Following is a breeze as well. You can do it right from here by using the advanced find. Choose what you want to look up, in this case users, and then click the show results button. Tick one or more records you want to follow and then simply click follow. Notice that you can also unfollow from here. Alternatively, if you are in any record or list of records, you have the ability to follow that record from there. So if I go to a list of accounts, I can choose the ones I want and click follow in the ribbon. A good tip for unfollowing is to do it from the What's New area. Just click on the records you are following and then select the records you want and click unfollow. Incorporated with the What's New area is the record wall under each active entity. 
So if I go to any account and click on record wall, I can see all the posts where that entity is mentioned specifically. I can also post directly from here and remember that any posts will also appear in the What's New area. This is designed to really promote collaboration on CRM records. A point to note is the visibility of posts depending on who you follow. If you follow a user and they post from what's new about a record you do not follow, you will see the post. If the user posts directly from the record wall of a record you do not follow, you will not see it. This normally isn't a problem as within Teams you will generally follow all the same users and records. Recently Microsoft acquired Yammer which is a much more functionally spec social collaboration tool so expect to see great things to come in the social space from Microsoft. That's it on the activity feeds incorporating what's new and record wall functionality of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Remember to always check the help files if you have any problems but in the meantime thanks for watching this C-Logic video.